guys, it's Wraith Colin. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. I'm in the tier 8 American medium tank, the T69. This is the auto loader. And this is a very tier 10 game, uh, which can be proved challenging at the best of times, but the gun on this is not very good. I mean, it gets off four shots, rapid fire, it's a 90 mil gun. Uh, but it's only like about 180 penetration and about 240 damage. So I guess even tier 8 tanks, you really do need to get flanking shots in or just beat up on lower tier tanks. But since I'm the lower tier tank in this game, this is not going to work well. Uh, so we've got to be really cautious and got to be really careful about what I expose myself to and about just getting in the way. I don't want to get in the way of any of the tier 10 tanks that's with our team. I want those guys to get up there and, and use their armor, use their gun to take advantage of the situations and I just want to be there to support them and not get in their way. So it's going to be a challenge to get flanking side shots. This is a city map so ranges are going to be short. You see I take a shot there trying to get across the roadway. And you're not going to have a whole lot of room for error or margin to get tracked or caught out when you're low tier, especially like this high level of low tier. You can get murdered very quickly. And uh, the Conqueror's got a fairly weak lower plate. So I can put rounds into him, get a tracking shot on him. I load my magazine, I back off. I got nothing too bad. I'll take that three out of four shots. One skipped underneath him. He's, they got a weak lower plate. And of course, the big waffle comes up and stops the kill. But I'll take three or four out of Focus three or four, area. three or four penny shots. I'll get it out here eventually on these guys. And I'm moving back to support. And basically, I just want to try to keep other flanks from getting, you know, keep the tank destroyers from getting caught in the knife fight with someone. A medium tank would be there to support them. So that's really all I'm focused on doing. This tank is not very good when it's low tier. Uh, for the reasons I mentioned, it does not have good armor. The turret armor's all right for tier eight, uh, but these guys are going to pen it. In some cases, they may even overmatch it. Uh, the whole armor is nothing to speak of on this tank. This is definitely a standoff and fire tank. At least that's what you'd think, but um, you know it's not. Doesn't have the accuracy either. So up in front of us there, um, there's the waffles took the spot. So I'm backing off. See if I get some shots in this T32. I'm not going to be able to see over the low wall there. I'm trying to get the front end up so I can maybe see over the wall. I'm not going to be able to do it. And I see there's a Leopard 1 up there. The Leopard 1s are pretty squishy. Uh, but I'm trying to see if I can help that guy out with that tier 8 heavy tank. And he just killed him. So it obviously doesn't need my help. So I'll back up. And yes, you're going to kind of meander around in the backfield a little bit. Uh, but I'm not camping. I'm trying to be productive. Just trying to pick my shot. I see in front of us there's a tank destroyer, there's an E3. He's going to get hit and tracked. Now this would be dangerous The Leopard get around and the Leopard can own him. So my E pushing up and being aggressive on this Leopard probably saved the E3's life. Because uh, if he had gotten around and, and the, the, the Leopard had gotten around him, he could have really owned him and tore him up. Now obviously behind us here is a mouse and the de Death Star. So he may have been okay anyway. but. You don't necessarily want to take that risk and leave him hanging. If you can cover the sides of those guys when they get tracked like that, that's being useful to your team. Um, and I'm going to try to do the same here. I'm going to try to support this guy. And there is... That's the Chieftain. Look at the tier 10 heavy. he got a very weak lower plate. And I'm going to punish him. And you see, I, I, I whipped up the kill. Um, that's one advantage of these autoloaders, and you get those four shots off very quickly. Um, he exposes the lower plate. The chief's in the front armor on the hull is pretty weak for a tier 10 heavy tank. And you can see it didn't take much, and I, I beat him up for it. I'm going to follow the Death Star, and I'm going to follow this these five as they push around the corner. And see if I can get some cheeky shots here against this other E5. And I'm trying to go for tracking shots, because if I can track him, very can pin him in place, and as soon as I do that, I get two pins in him, the Death Star hits him, he takes a big hit from somebody else. And then I'll get credit for those for those damage assists for tracking these guys. My gun's just enough to do so. And I'm almost on the reload, so I'm going to push so I can get in a position to make use of it when it comes up, because he's distracted by all the other guys in front of him. I'm fairly low tier, 
So that's all right. So I do come up along the side where his armor is getting weaker. My gun to use. One, two, someone takes the kill. And there is an E100, and I don't want anything to do with the E100. <laughs> so I'm trying to track him in place. And I do track and I am hitting him and I'm doing damage to him. Um, I missed that one. I kind of rushed and I'm a little nervous. The mouse comes up and he's going to pull him for me. So I'm going to reload. I'm trusting the mouse to deal with this E100, but I'm going to come around the side. See if I can't get anything else in. The mouse does get in. The only thing left is the tank destroyer and Artie. And I would like to go hunt the Artie down. And I'm fast enough and I can do damage to the Artie. I do this. I do carry some heat rounds. Um, but I don't know how effective they're going to be against these guys. So if I can get side shots, I'll, I'll take those instead of using heat rounds. I don't automatically default the, the gold ammo if I don't have to. Uh, but I'm going to hunt the Artie. Yeah, I think it's one of the tier 9 or tier 10 arties. It's one of the big arties. Here's a little limited mobility I have. There it is. And one hit. And you get another one. Don't kill him, man. Artie picks him off. Otherwise, I could have my third kill. So that's it, guys. That's the game. It's a fairly quick game, but look, I survived to the end. I was stuck in there. Made good use of my tank. Didn't overexpose myself. Didn't try to trade shots. I walk away 2,800 damage, 1,400 assists, two kills. I got the Lavado Shears medal, which is destroying tanks two tiers higher than you, which is kind of cool. And when you don't necessarily get that often, um, give me 1,700 base XP. So it's a pretty good game, guys. I'll take it. Thanks, and keep your powder dry.